serve. Have a good match. Almost a baseline to take that so early so you don't have to be bothered. And that's exactly what she did right here. Look at that. Taking that so high. All four of her career top 10 wins have been in 2021 and all came in one place. <laughs> or excuse me, no, did not come in one place. Four top 20 wins. Four top 20 was a dip in the walls. Again, the movements, the coverage of the courts, the defense. Look at that. She's going to get to it and at least ask the question, and question answered right there. After beginning with a couple of aces, but Dos under pressure, feeling a little bit of the scrutiny from Sabalenka. There's no doubt. It all began really on the clay, where she produced as well as anybody, in fact, better than anybody this year. How's that for that intensity, Jill? Geller Point did a fantastic job. Love you see right there, she's just a little bit further behind the baseline, but she does not hesitate to move forward. As soon as she thinks, sees anything short, she's happy to step a couple feet inside the baseline. And I like that commitment of taking that last one out of the air. Sophie, the run to the title in Belgrade for her first career WK title really just set the tone for her. The contact cases sure. on a flight, but worse than that, after seven days, she tested positive. That means 14 more days. So that was 21 days in quarantine. And I think she bounced back pretty darn well, considering what happened to her at the beginning of the, of the year. We know that she's been dealing with mental toughness, depression when she was younger, and she, uh, well, she turned the, <laughs> the year around. Sabalenka is so adept, and what a valuable tool to have in her arsenal. How about taking that so early, following that to the net, hitting it down the line on the return, which is, by the way, the further. Oh, gee. I mean, cut, cutting it close, to say the least, but Sabalenka put it right where she wanted it. And too many looks, too many chances, and playing with fire. Outstanding. I mean, I think the pace is getting even higher, if that's even possible. <laughs> Good thing we're not on the court, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that's terrific stuff. And what clarity of thought and execution after the previous double fault. Power is there at 126K and just a slice. And the depth just pushing completely Bedosa off court. She had committed to go towards the cross court, but... Uh, well played. Eight women battling for the seed and ending championships, and are they delighted? Don't believe me? Take a listen. It's the other six women in the field. Oh. Yeah. Finally getting up to those balls. Great movement, great preparation. She's settled, she's set, she's square, and then accelerates towards the target. It's picture perfect. A little bit of a similarity here as far as the ball flying and the altitude. Mm. 
that's her good. She's battled some you know, mental trouble and depression. And, and Sabalenka's had her ebbs and flows, too. Surely, especially in Indian Wells. Oh, no. That's how you get it done, despite the early stumble. Double fault. The shot. Four consecutive strong serves. Gets it done for Paola Badoza. She grabs the opening set in 49 minutes. Kevin, Jill, I did to look at the run, look at the movement of Bedosa. Just refuses to give up. I mean, this is the longest run and strike. Always run beside the ball. And an almost sigh of relief and just where has that been? By Sabalenka. It's more in line with what we saw to start the match. The backhand down the line. That she's definitely getting set better towards her shot, but dose. An implosion for the top seed in Guadalajara. It's a good thing you start talking because Kevin and I were looking at each other in like, what can we say? The defense is just so exquisite. And look at her get to that drop shot. Nothing to it. Says Pedosa. Against Ashley Barty. Was up 3 6 and lost 6 lost 6 3. Leaving against Zetlana Pilonkova in Miami. She was down love 6. Ah, oh, the quickness, the hands, and the backhand side. It just resplendent. Now she was queen of the California desert, and she took the lessons learned there, as well as the victory over Sabalenka in Cincinnati, to absolutely drub the top seed at these WTA finals. That is a smile of delight as she picks up her fifth top 10 win of her career, all in 2021, with a straight set, 6-4, 6-love victory.